Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well. Thank you for watching this clip on half and quarter angle formula. Here we're trying to use sine of half angle and quarter angle to evaluate sine of pi over 16. Of course, 16 is quarter of pi over 4, which is a special angle. So we need to find out sine of r over 4, basically. So let's get started. The place where we're going to start, it might look a little odd at the beginning. Cosine of alpha plus beta is equal to cosine alpha cosine beta minus sine alpha sine beta. And when alpha equal to beta, then we have cosine of 2 theta is equal to cosine square of theta minus sine theta squared. From here, I have two expressions, 1 minus sine squared theta or 2 sine my apology, cosine here, square theta minus 1. Okay, now notice this theta and in relation to the 2 theta here, we can use it to actually write it into our half angle. So basically, from the equation 1 here, we'll have sine alpha over 2 is equal to 1 minus cosine 2 alpha, 2 times alpha over 2, the whole thing over 2, and we take square roots. The reason is this one is theta, on this side is 2 theta, so sine alpha equivalently equal to radical root of 1 minus cosine alpha over 2. Okay. Now using equation 2 over here, you can see cosine of 2 theta is equal to 2 cosine square theta minus 1, cosine 2 theta plus 1, therefore is equal to twice cosine squared theta. Okay. In relation with this one, I can say then cosine of alpha over 2 is going to be equal to radical of 1 plus cosine alpha over 2. All right, now we have the half angle formula pretty easily derived from here. All right, okay, let's move on. Before we move on, math break. Here's a funny picture. Don't shoot. All right, back to math. In order to evaluate pi over 16, we see that sine of pi over 8 over 2. Okay, but I don't have pi over 2, and then sine pi over 8 it's equals to, a, we can use half angle, okay. But notice when we derived earlier, when we have sine half angle and cosine half angle, well, the important thing is actually not sine, but rather cosine. So let's find out what cosine pi over 8 is equal to. This one equal to half of pi over 2, pi over 4, my apology, okay. From here, let's plug into there, so we have 1 plus cosine of pi over 4 over 2. Cosine of pi over 4 is radical 2 over 2, and the whole thing divided by 2. Hope I'm not going too fast. If it's too fast, you can always hit the pulse button. So over here, once I multiply and common denominator out, I have 2 plus radical 2. Okay, cosine pi over 8 is important because sine of pi over 8 over 2, which is what we're looking for, sine of pi over 16 is equal to half of pi over 8. Okay, now earlier I said half of pi over 8, what we really need is 1 minus cosine here over 2. Okay, using this we can have a closed form here basically. So let's plug it in there. Oh, it's a mess here. So we have 1 minus cosine pi over 8. That's this big long thing here. 2 plus radical 2. And the whole thing going to divide it by 2. Now if you simplify over here a little bit and you'll see pi over 16 is equal to half of radical of 2 minus 
radical 2 plus radical 2. Oh, isn't that pretty? Okay, well, once again, so all I did here is simplify it over here a little bit, and you have a common denominator, and 2 times 2 is going to be 4, and that's why the half goes out. All right? That's how we handle pi over 16 for the sine angle. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan making learning math fun, at least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.